Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Merlin. Last time on Merlin, we had the secret sharer. The, wait, what, oh, whoops, I, I, well, I need to go back and, uh, retype some things, because I'm pretty sure I put, uh, the truth sharer. Whoops, I messed up some titles, um, oh well, uh, yeah, we had the, tr uh, the secret sharer. Where Morgana hired a guy to kidnap Gaius and question him about who Emrys is. And then uh, he did. Uh, um, there was a lot of stuff. Uh, there were a lot of things, honestly. But it was really good. Uh, really, really good. And then the guy was like, oh, Emrys is like really cool. And he was like, oh, Merlin's Emrys. And I was like, alright. And then he turned on Morgana and... Uh, yeah... And then Gaius, you know, the, we got a pretty cool, like, speeches from uh, the guy and Gaius about uh, the hope that, of the new kingdom that Arthur and Merlin are going to create. So, it was all pretty cool. Really, really good. And, yeah, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. And you know how to find uh, the reaction, as always, in the description or, to the, or in the pinned comment. That's where the reaction is. When you're done watching that, you can come back over here for the discussion. And yeah, we might as well get right into this episode of Merlin. Here we go. What a boring episode. I never thought I would see the day... But that, that was, that was boring. That was boring as all sin. And just bad. That was a bad episode. Like, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? That was really boring. That was so ungodly boring. And like, like, look, I know some of you guys didn't like Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was batshit crazy, though. That was crazy, and I loved it. It's, you could debate whether or not those are good episodes, but gosh, if I don't have fun watching those, that was so boring. And, you, and I've never, in all of these reactions, I've never watched a boring episode of one of these shows. But that was boring. I, I'm tempted to say that feels like season one, but even in season one, they would have done that better. It kind of feels like a season one plot line. It's a dumb plot line. It's a dumb plot line, like, oh, well, the knights are turning against Merlin, and they're all angry because you're talking bad about their girl. Oh my god, what a boring, god-awful plot. And it starts... This episode started with one of the most interesting, like... Plot setups, actually. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the the village, necessarily. I'm talking about Merlin having to be the physician. I thought we were in for a really interesting episode, but no. That was so boring. That was so boring. I, I don't know how much of the reaction, like, I'm really gonna keep in. Because I swear I didn't talk for, like, ten minutes. Because I was just bored. That is without a doubt the worst episode of Merlin. Because the entire time, you're just waiting for it to end. You know? I feel like this could have been like a 10 minute mini episode or something, you know? Like this could have been like a good mini episode. If, yeah, if it was like... 15 to 20 minutes long? Maybe not even 20. I think you could have 
done... I think you could have done this entire plotline in 15 minutes and it would have been fine. But... To stretch it out to 43 minutes... That was... Awful. Like... Hands down the worst episode of Merlin. It was so boring. The plot line was so bad. Even the acting, I feel like none of them gave a shit in this episode, you know? I feel like I feel like even Merlin was kind of going through this like, okay, where's the bad guy so I can kill them and break the curse, you know? I feel like everyone in this episode was kind of... <laughs> it's like they... they Okay, because I'll tell you what. It felt like they were... They were doing fine. Like, they were reading... They were filming the script as they were reading it, basically. Or, like, they were reading it as they were filming it. And they started off, and I was like, okay, well, that first scene is kind of interesting. It's like, oh, what's happening in this village? Like, okay, that's pretty cool. And then it's like, oh, well, Merlin will be the physician. And I actually, like, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's like, at the beginning of the reaction, like, it's kind of like a heartfelt moment when it's like, you know, Merlin, he has all this responsibility of creating Albion and being Emrys, and he's the last of the Dragon Lords and everything. But this, the simplicity of just, he needs to take over as physician, it kind of got to me a little bit. I was like, you know what, this is pretty cool. You know, and then we had, then we had, you know, him going and trying to be the physician, you know. And then as soon as they got back, as soon as they were like, okay, let's go back to Camelot. It's like they read the rest of the script and the actors stopped caring. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but it really felt like they stopped caring because they looked at the rest of the script and it's like, what the fuck is this? This is garbage. And so they didn't care. They're like, okay, well, whatever. This is just a filler episode, you know? Which it is. This is such a filler episode. Now, you could argue... You can debate back and forth, you know, what episodes are filler and are... You know, you and you could debate, you know, should you cut out filler or not? Like, this is like the great divide of Merlin. It's like, you could take this out and unless it's... Unless it's referenced for how bad it is in a recap episode, then this is not worth it. Like, if I honestly... Even, like, you know, in other shows... Like, okay, the, the something that's popping into my mind is in Doctor Who uh, with Love and Monsters. Because I can't tell you when I did that, like, how many people were like, just skip episode 10. Skip Love and Monsters. And I didn't. I watched it and I had a good time. But that's the thing. I still had a good time. That that episode's crazy too. That episode is crazy and you can debate its quality, but god, I had fun in that episode, you know? As weird as that episode is, it's fun, you know? Just because it's like this is just so weird, you know? But this was boring. Boring, boring, boring. And I never thought I'd have to say that about an episode of Merlin, you know? Even, even something like Goblin's Gold, you know, which I, I think that for a, for a while that was kind of my least favorite episode because it, it was just kind of a dumb episode and especially coming after the series, the season three premiere, I thought that was just a dumb episode. But even that, I felt like all the actors were having fun. Gaius was definitely having fun in that. This episode, like, I feel like everyone just showed up because they had to. You know? Or no, they showed up, they started reading the script, and like, okay, this is kind of interesting, like, this setup is interesting, okay, we can do this. And then, about, again, when, once they started reading, it's like, okay, and then they're gonna go back to Camelot, and then they started reading ahead, like, all this stuff that happens, and then I feel like even the actors gave up, you know? I feel like, who wrote this? Who wrote this friggin' episode? I don't think I can tell. Uh, no, I can't tell on here, but... I don't know, have we had... Like, has this person written this episode before? You know what? Fran, I'll go look on IMDb. I don't care. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out who wrote this episode. 
Because this episode is so boring. Uh, oh, I put Merc in. My bad. The typing on a screen keyboard. It's difficult. Okay. Merlin. We need season four. Okay, where is it? La Lamia. Who wrote this? Okay, we have the three, the or the four creators. Okay. Who wrote this episode? Did this guy? Oh, okay. Well, okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm friggin' wrong. Oh, it's, it was one of the creators. Okay. Well, shit, I don't know. Okay, so maybe, I don't know, did, what happened? What happened, one of the creators wrote this episode, like, what happened? What happened? This is such a boring episode. Oh my fucking god. Like, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to discuss this episode because of how boring it was, you know? And because this is not going to factor, like, if this was a bad episode that, like, factored in later... I'm sh like, that's one thing. This is not that, though. This is just boring and bad. Boring. Boring episode. Boo. Boo, I say. This episode sucks. Okay. I, you know what? I'll run through the notes really quickly, but... I'm sorry, I don't think I can stay here that long because this is a boring episode that I just want to, I'd want to leave behind. Okay, running through the notes really, really quick here. I wrote down physician. Again, that would have been such an, an, an interesting episode. I thought they were going there, that Merlin was going to have to... Um, Merlin was going to, you know, he had to be the physician, you know, he had to help, but it's not really his area of expertise. He knows some things, but he obviously isn't as good as Gaius. I thought that'd be an interesting episode, you know, that already creates conflict with, like, uh, the village elder John. It's like, well, you know, um, even if, you know, he, maybe he's, like, getting progressively more mad with Merlin because he's not as good, you know? And eventually, Merlin does prove himself, whether through his own sorcery or whatever, but he proves himself, and then he saves the village, and yay, there you go! It's all nice and interesting! Nope! As soon as they leave for Camelot... <laughs> the episode just crashes and burns... And it's like, it's just a slow, it's, it's like a, it's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Honestly. Like, you just, although, it's not even that, okay? It's not even that, because, okay, that's the, like, the classic thing. Oh, we're watching a train wreck in slow motion. But, with that, the analogy is always that, oh, you can't take your eyes off of it, you know? I could easily take my eyes off of it. Like, I... You, like, you, were you guys are lucky I, I film with my phone. Otherwise, I might have been checking my phone. I'm out on this episode. Because it was just boring. Boring. And it wasted such a good plot line. It really did. It, it wasted such a good plot line, you know? And I was really excited for it. And then just nothing. The kid, the kid was boring. It's like, oh, she's like a snake thing and whatever. She's boring. Like, it was interesting how she didn't like Merlin. Like, okay. But then, then she turns all the knights. Oh, I hate that plotline so much where all of our friends... We've had this before on the show, by the way, but it was different. It's like, oh, all of our friends are now turning against our protagonist and now... They kind of hate him. Oh my gosh, I wish that story would just die a slow and painful death already. Just give that plotline a break. I hate it. We had the trail. That was another thing is Arthur following the trail took forever. 
Like, they had to drag it out so much. And even Agravain was like, what are we doing? You know, like, he covered up one of the footprints, but even then, that's all he did. He was just kind of being a normal person in that episode, you know? There was the castle. That place was boring. Here's just a dark room for you to be in. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, the true form of Lamia, that that, I, that was a kind of cool design. I wish we could have actually seen it and it not be in the fucking dark. But it was kind of cool to see. It's like, okay, I, I just thought it would just be a giant snake. But it was like, no, it was like this, like, Cthulian snake thing. It was like, okay, well, that was kind of cool. Like, well, that was kind of interesting. And then it's dead, and it's like, all right, well, that's the end of that. So that didn't last, you know? And then, and then what the fuck was Arthur's line about, oh, how does it feel, you know, being saved by a woman? It's like, did we regress to season one for a minute? Because that sounds like something that sounds like something he would say to Morgana in season one. Like, oh well, you saved by a woman, and then Morgana would be like, you know, how many times I've kicked your ass since we were kids. Like, like that's exactly what that scene would be. The problem is, this is season four. We're past that. We're past a lot of things by season four. So I don't know what the hell that line was. Was this like they just needed another episode? Is that it? Is that it that we just needed another episode? And so like the 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 guy just wrote this really quickly? I don't know. I don't get it. Where did this come from? How did this happen? We're smarter than this. Fuck this episode. This episode was horrible and boring as all sin. And I never thought I would have that from Merlin. Even in episodes like Goblin's Gold that I didn't really like. Or, you know, some of you guys didn't like Beauty and the Beast. You have to at least admit, those can be kind of entertaining with how weird they are, you know? This was just boring. Boring, boring, boring. And I never thought Merlin would be boring. This, ep this episode is disappointing, honestly. And I'm done with it. We're done. I'm done. We're moving on, hopefully, to a better episode... Hopefully we don't have to go through this again. That, wow, that was awful. That was so awful. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, I guess. If you want to watch better episodes of Merlin that I've reacted to, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later on a better episode.